Hello and welcome back to another episode of Monday Mod Tips. Today we're going to be going over a couple of tips for motors, specifically how to mount motors into a fancy flywheel cage. What I'm working with here is a gold canted flywheel cage, though it really doesn't matter what cage you're working with, and um, 180 Wolverine motor. With pretty much any good motor you're going to get, in fact I've never seen one that doesn't, on the back there is a red dot, and that indicates one of the poles. All of the motors that are that design will have that dot on the same side. And this is important because you need to have them in the flywheel cage alternated. One needs to be red up and the other needs to be red down. That way the motors are in fact spinning in opposite directions and will therefore shoot the, the flywheel. If your motors are spinning in the same direction bad things are gonna happen when you go to try to fire it. So with these particular ones, they simply go in. Now with the nice metal flywheel cages, they fit loosely. In the 3D printed ones, they're usually really, really tight and you can just force it friction fit in. But with the metal cages, you are gonna need to put screws in. So there are screw holes on the inside and the motors or the flywheel cages should come with tiny, tiny screws that you then screw in. Now it is highly recommended that you use some sort of an adhesive, Loctite, super glue, whatever, um, on these screws when you put them in for the final time because otherwise the vibration of the motor spinning will eventually wiggle them loose. And then you end up with loose motors and then bad things happen. So you're going to want to secure those in with some sort of adhesive. Um, you don't need to worry about it becoming truly permanent because they're metal screws on a metal surface. You will be able to get them out as long as you're careful. Don't, um, be, you're going to want to be careful not to strip out the screw heads when you go to unscrew them. So be sure you apply lots of pressure and give it a sharp twist to break the, the super glue loose if you're going to try to take them back out again. Once you have it in, you can then put your flywheels on. And this is why you're not going to want to put your flywheels on until you have permanently secured the screws. Because getting the flywheels back off, unless they're metal ones that um, are also screw tightened on, it's difficult to get the flywheels off without breaking them. And so you're going to want to definitely put the glue in that holds the screws in before you put your flywheels on. But that is how you install the motors into the flywheel cage. Make sure that the dots are opposite of each other. You can technically have them the same way, but it's going to make for slightly messier wiring, which we will get to in the next video when we do the wiring for this. So, stay tuned. Thank you for watching.